Okay, I do have here uh, the live version of that uh, cluster management, uh, which um, Amy uh, introduced. So here, uh, what do I have um, is um, the services uh, which uh, we are running uh, inside of that cluster. And each individual uh, service actually has uh, its own purpose. Um, uh, to really, you know, uh, provide certain functionality within the uh, APM element. So, for example, here I, I do have um, uh, ACC, uh, APM uh, Command Center, uh, which is the uh, application or service which uh, provides the tools for administration and configuration of the lifecycle of the agent. I do have here um, API Gateway uh, for managing access via the APIs. Assisted triage, which I was showing, is also the, the service. I can see here um, the utilization of each individual uh, services. And uh, as uh, Amy pointed out, uh, I can easily scale them out. So um, uh, here I uh, do run this um, uh, API gateway, for example, in the one instance, and I can just add uh, additional instance, I can edit now or at specified time, and I can start right away and a new instance would be created um, uh, instantly. Uh, here I can also get some more information uh, about the uh, service itself. Uh, I can see exactly where it's, it's running uh, and so on, and I can access logging. So in case of uh, need to troubleshoot anything, I have everything accessible. Through, um, uh, through these uh, services. So all of these services are actually uh, shared between uh, different um, tenants, uh, and then we have uh, so-called tenant services. So let me just briefly explain what, what tenant really means. So we borrowed this uh, word from the uh, software as a service uh, <laughs> terminology. So tenant is really uh, one customer which is running uh, on this uh, on this cluster. So in current generation of APM, uh, the one tenant uh, would be most likely one APM cluster. So it's really completely separate uh, APM uh, instance which has uh, its own data storage, uh, its own uh, space and the data are really separated between, uh, between different tenants. And now these services which are here um, are actually services uh, which are multi-tenant, which means that actually um, they are shared between uh, different tenants and they uh, scale out basically based on the needs of the entire, uh, entire cluster. And then we have these uh, tenant services. Uh, here I have uh, one tenant created. And these tenant services are actually the services which are uh, specific to a uh, single, single tenant. Uh, so uh, this service is uh, not shared between uh, uh, multiple ones, but it is dedicated to just one. So let's actually uh, onboard new uh, application uh, into our cluster and let's create a new APM uh, for, for them. So let's add the tenant. Uh, let me click here. Um, uh, and uh, uh, here, actually, uh, I just put uh, the name of the tenant. Uh, I put here the authentication type. I can pick from three uh, choices. Basic one where uh, user uh, name and, and password is stored inside of the uh, cluster management, and then two external ones, LDAP and, and SAML. Uh, so let's uh, pick uh, this one. Um, yeah, let me... Uh, Okay, uh, I need to pick some, some password for the security. Okay. Um, okay, I, uh, let me repeat that. Uh, then my name. 
uh, and then my uh, email. Okay, uh, here we go. Uh, then I uh, need to pick the initial size of my uh, of my setup. Uh, the really nice thing about uh, this console is that you can scale out uh, at any time um, uh, according according your needs. So you can start with the uh, smallest uh, tenant size with up to one million metrics, and then as your tenant grows, uh, you can you can grow um, and you can scale out uh, that. And here I could actually pick if I do have some customizations. Uh, I can um, uh, pick the configuration template um, uh, here. Uh, so if I have, for example, uh, some some alerts, some management modules uh, prepared, uh, and I want to actually use the same configuration uh, for uh, the new tenant as well, I can just easily uh, pick this here. Right now, I do not have any templates prepared. And that's, uh, that's really it. Now, uh, the tenant uh, is getting uh, prepared, and actually in a um, couple of minutes, uh, the tenant will be ready. Before it's ready, uh, let's actually uh, go and explore this console a little bit more. So here, first of all, uh, I can go to uh, Team Center, and I can really uh, access the uh, live, uh, live instance. As you can see, my uh, tenant is already up and uh, up and running, uh, and now I could actually go into uh, the team center, and I can start. I can download the agent, and I can start to use um, uh, the the APM. Uh, right now, uh, you will not see there anything uh, too much interesting. Uh, the uh, team center is pretty empty because I'm not sending there uh, any data but everything is up and running and prepared for me. Uh, then I can also go to the metrics. Uh, we have a lot of self-monitoring built in. Uh, here in the metrics, uh, these are not the uh, metrics from the agents from your applications, but these are the metrics specific to, the, uh, uh, to this uh, instance itself. So you can really um, see and watch what the health uh, of your uh, of your APM infrastructure, and you can see that globally for uh, all of the services or for the individual uh, individual uh, tenant services. So here I, I do have my uh, enterprise manager for the tenant, and I can see all of the all of the metrics uh, of that. Uh, uh, the uh, the next part here, uh, just to uh, finish this topic. Here, this is actually uh, the global uh, global services and uh, their metrics. So again, here I have, for example, assisted trash, and I can uh, take a look uh, at uh, its resource utilization. Um, the other uh, interesting part of this uh, screen, uh, of this cluster console is actually activity logs, where you can see all the activities which are happening. Um, uh, and you can see actually that uh, uh, what was happening here is that we created the antenna. And the last screen, which I will mention, is uh, uh, the tokens uh, screen. And here in the tokens, I actually can see all of the accesses uh, which are granted. So uh, all of the agents, all of the sources of the data which are connected to my ATM instance um, are using these uh, tokens and I can actually um, expire um, or revoke the, the access of, of, that, uh, of that token. Uh, so in case that uh, the security token, you can do that. What's really new in APM 11 is that each individual agent can have its own token. So um, uh, you can really differentiate between different agents uh, through these tokens and then, you know, if one agent actually uh, gets compromised, uh, you can just revoke that access token and all the other agents can still talk to your uh, service. Uh, really last thing, which I actually uh, forgot to show you, uh, is um, when you go uh, back here to configure, 
uh, this is the way how you can change the size of the tenon. So here, again, I just click on the small cluster, hit save, and now my um, APM instance is getting redeployed and uh, I'm just scaling out. And again, in a couple minutes, everything will be ready for me and, and I can uh, start to send more metrics. And that's really it. Thank you.